Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, um, I was... Ah, yeah, it was about five days ago now for me. But um, <clears throat> we were about to uh, go to the last room in the precinct that we need to open. I remember, with the club key. And as of recording this video, holy fucking shit, guys. Resident Evil 2 is out tomorrow, and I have... Uh, Already got it preloaded, so all things are good. Now I can't remember if I said in the last video or not. Um, I was having some control pad problems, so I have actually managed to find, and that doesn't actually look the right colour there. It's actually green, um, but I've managed to find myself a basically brand new Dual Shock uh, limited edition. Interestingly enough. It's actually a PlayStation 2 one, um, but it works just fine on the PlayStation 1, of course, because they use the same connection and whatnot. Uh, now, we need, for where we're going, we need Zelita. Yes. So let's put that back. We do have, like, ammo issues. They are, shall we say, a slight concern, but... Uh, why? Why did I do that? Clay, you fool! Put the damn ink ribbons back. There we go. Uh, do we not have the lighter? Surely. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, half my damn items are missing. What the juice? But no, we have our lighter, of course. So, we need to go. I think the best way to go around here is through here, obviously. Let's go use up our last key. And maybe we get to waste a liquor or two along the way. Anyway, I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone's excited for Resident Evil 2. The reviews have just started to drop. And it's basically getting 10s, 9s, and the occasional 8. Now, I very much believe that a game shouldn't get a perfect score. No matter how much I love the game. Because there are no perfect games. You know, there, there's always something that can be improved. But uh, nevertheless, I am very happy to see it doing very well. Apparently it has uh, turned out way better than we could have hoped. Which is great. And I, for one, cannot wait to start shooting my way through the new police station. What is old is now new again. Right, now, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do, there is a liquor in here. Even a big fella. Now, decisions, decisions. I suppose we can take him on with this. Come on, buddy. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, you shit. I saw that coming a mile off. Now, I have kind of illustrated there perfectly. More or less. Just how awful the bow gun is. The hit detection on it is just awful. Never mind. And we are majorly fucked up. A liquor. Like, liquors are tough. Um, but they're not that bad. A picture of a man on a carriage. Something is on the wheel. Like the queen, the king, and the jack. And the carriage will start running. Indeed. And we are so injured right now. I'm really tempted to reload that. But, oh yeah, I forgot about the... Uh, Oh, we've got to go back over there in a minute anyway. I forgot about the um, film there. God damn it. He really fucked us up. Ugh. Every time I go to use the bow gun, every time I'm reminded just how much I hate the bow gun. Right, do we have anything here? Yeah. Totally messed up. Uh, it certainly is clear, yes. I know there's some bullets. Oh! Okay, that's actually quite useful. Forgot about that. 
But I don't think we can use an F8 spray. I think if we use one, um, it lowers our score. I'm not, I don't really care about like scores and stuff because I've already got this um, locked down. Now we have to light the king, the queen, and the ace, I believe it said. And that basically uh, relates to the numbers here. Now, I don't play cards. <clears throat> I've never been interested in cards. But I do remember the pattern here. Like, my mates always used to be into playing poker and whatnot, especially after a few beers, but I just, I've never really given a shit about card games, to be honest. There we go. There's one in college we always used to play called Shithead. And I never, uh, everyone was like, you'd always see that one person reach for the deck of cards and you're like, oh. Can't we just, like, play Resident Evil 2 or something? Right, let's grab this. Well, we've got to go back and get that developed anyway, so that's what we'll do. Then we'll go get some herbs along the way. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh. I don't know whether I should be more embarrassed than annoyed, but... Fucking liquor, of all things. God damn it. Never mind. <laughs> I really wish I could fix the as aspect ratio. Oh, this is going to be arduous getting all the way back. Like, I kind of like the, the fact that as we get injured, you get a visual representation of you being injured. But it's also a pain in the dick. Massive pain in the dick. So let's hob along all the way back. I can't believe the liquor. Fuck my ass and call me Charlie. He was quite the rough customer. I swear the sights on that bowgun are bent. There's something not very adequate, adequate uh, about it. Now, to be fair, like, it's really good against zombies. But it's just got that awful hit detection when you aim down. It just doesn't seem to hit anything. Which is really shit. One of the cats is really annoying me. Uh, that's Stubbs because Cloud is there. He's behind the curtain and he's making the curtain like flap around and do weird things. Come on, Claire, you can make it. I believe in you. Actually, I don't have that much faith in you, but yeah, I have more faith in you, I guess, than I have in myself. There we go, and we've made it back to an item room. Excellent. Right, let's go get healed up. I apologize for that, Claire. That was terrible. Um, I suppose really, and oh, we do have normal grenade rounds. Right, I kind of want to keep the bow gun out a little bit for the zombies. But, at the same time, it's so bad. Let's take that. Uh, we don't need that. I don't actually think we ever need the lighter again, off the top of my head. Put that back. Let's put you in there. Um, yeah, I actually went over to my friend's house uh, yesterday. And there we go. And we was actually playing. Um, so we was playing now. Oh yeah, he's just got a N64. Well, he kind of always had an N64, but he's just brought one that's got um, a HDMI mod on the back, which cost him like three hundred and fifty odd pounds. But on top of that, he's brought an EverDrive as well. So we were playing lots of different versions of Resident Evil and whatnot on it, and uh, it's really cool, actually. The N64 version of uh, Resident Evil is really quite interesting. All right, let's go and get our film developed. It is kind of a pain in the ass to have to go all the way back here to develop the film. Ugh, coffee nourishes the soul. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, I, see, I really want to search this room again. I'm sure. I am sure there's ammo in here. 
maybe I'm just not remembering it correctly, which I know we got that from there, which is absolutely possible, but God damn it, I know there's ammo here. I'm sure of it. Now, I know in certain versions of the game that they mix up the item placements, unless I'm thinking of B scenario, I guess, which uh, is certainly possible, I suppose. And that, remember um, a few videos ago, I was having that really annoying issue with how hard it was to move uh, Claire around? Especially when you're running into walls and things. Not having that with this control pad, so that's good. <clears throat> Definitely makes it feel like this was a worthwhile investment. Because I actually want to start playing more games on uh, my, my PlayStation. I got a whole shelving unit there of games consoles. And I did invest a lot of money into all of the upscalers and converters and cables to record them. It just seems, I don't know, a bit pointless having them just sat there, not being used. I like collecting my games, but I don't collect them to look at, if you know what I mean. I always collect, you know, if I buy a game, I'm buying it to play it. Maybe not for like 10 years, but, you know, I'm always planning on getting to it eventually. Now, anyway, let's see what this one is. Film B. Pictured in front of the uh, Arcus Taylor, regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis, uh, in addition to feeling of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Picture by R. Lambert. Hmm. Okay. Well, my friend, you're fucked. Yeah, oh, you can't can't see that wall because in the remake there is uh, something else there. Now what? Just getting paranoid that I've left bullets behind. Will you change back? No. Okay. Oh yeah, they've also announced the original um, uh, costumes for RE2 as well, and they actually have like the low polygon models, which. <laughs> it's actually really quite cool. Uh, let's just go f through here, I think. I think this way we can bypass that corridor. Because uh, then we can just like go through here. And this was the room that our friend Marvin was in, if I remember correctly. Yep, Marvin room. Hey, buddy. Actually, does that zombie on the floor have anything? I don't know. I've been watching loads of mods of this, of the PC version. And, um, you know, some of the stuff in... Uh, some of the mods people have come up with are so cool. I actually would really like to give some of them a shot myself. But... Like, the PC version is apparently a massive pain in the dick to get running. Uh, which is a shame. But who knows? You know, who knows? There's a guy called Orc Soup or something that I've been watching, and he is fantastic. Um, and he has like 12,000 subs as well, which is a shame because he's really fucking good. There's also another guy that I watched. I still got my headphones on. Yeah. Oh. Hello. I don't know what he's slashing at, but we're getting the fuck out of here. We have our anti liquor majig. And there's also a guy called Carsey or Carcigen, which pretty much like everyone in the Resident Evil like fan base knows him. Have I gone the wrong way? To the library. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, because this is the other save room. We need to go to the other way. Have I actually forgotten my way around? Say it ain't so. Yeah, 
Yeah, the library's on the other side. We need to go back past that liquor. Maybe we'll blow his bollocks off on the way past. He is a bit of a cock buffer. So it would make sense to remove his filth from the station. Cleanse it. Now there has to be something said about the music in this game. It's so good. Is it the best Resident Evil music? Like, ever? Maybe, you know? Maybe. Out of all the things in the new one, I'm gonna say... Fuck you, pal. I wasn't impressed with the music in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Like, I don't know. Like, it's good. It was perfectly serviceable. But, I don't know, man. It wasn't the... Ooh. Ah, yes. Hey, friendos. Welcome to the party. We never actually have to use that corridor again. If we're smart. Which is why we boarded up the other one. Because we're smart, yo. At least, at least, I like to think we're smart. I mean, we're probably not as smart as I think we are, but... You know. We're trying, damn it. We're trying. Quiet phone. Yeah, this is where we need to be. This is the one. I should probably put my phone on silent. Shush phone. Now. Let's go. Did I? Yeah, that's alright. I was going to say, I've already put the stairs down, haven't I? Thank fuck nuggets for that. Because that would have been a pain in the arse. Actually, now we can probably switch back to that boy. Um, right. Stick you in there. Looks like there's a switch. Will you push it? Aye, lass. Aye. There is our last tablet that we need. Will we take the blue stone? Yes, yes we will. So now we have everything we need to go and get out of this place. We're done with the police station already. Not too bad. So let's go get all the other stone tab tabulators and get the fuck out of here. And now we can move on to the sewers. Is it the sewer? Yeah, we're going to the sewers next. Make our way into the plant. Oh, I love that camera angle as well. Look, you can see all the way down. Ooh, it's so, like, there's something about this that's so ominous. And it's, I tell you what, guys, it's the music. Like, 80% of the atmosphere of this game is the music. It really is. Like, it. The composer for this game is just amazing. And talking about that, uh, composers, I've heard that in the new Elder Scrolls game, I love the Elder Scrolls games, I've been playing them since Morrowind, and Jeremy Saul has always done the music, but he's not doing the music for the new one, and oh, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Having said that, Having said that, he didn't do the music for uh, Resident Evil, ah, uh, Resident Evil, um, Fallout 4 either. That was like Iron Zer or whatever his name was. And like, yes, say what you want about Resident Evil, um, Fallout 4. I personally enjoyed it. Was it as good as 3 and uh, New Vegas? Probably not. But the soundtrack in that game was stellar. Right, let's get all of our stuff. They, they used a lot of bagpipes and stuff. And bagpipes are hard to get right. A lot of people don't like bagpipes, but when they're used well, they're amazing. And Fallout 4 had such a desolate um, 
soundtrack to it, you know, just the soundtrack alone, really put it into perspective that the world was beyond fucked, and humanity's best days were long behind them. It was just, yeah, it was so good. Right, so we've got that, we've got that. I don't think we need anything else. We do not. Try to think where the... Ah, uh, yeah, I know where we're going. I actually have to think where I'm going now. I don't know why. I've watched so much of this game um, over the last few days. Pretty much been coming home from work, playing online with the missus, and then when I go to bed, I've been watching some speed runs and all, all kinds of good stuff on this game. Living the dream, guys, you know? Burning the candle at both ends. Nothing in here. Ah, oh, I wish there was some bullets. Let's still a zombie on the floor, but he's aight. He's cool. We just leave him chill where he is. He don't mean no harm to no one. Ah, I wish I had some bullets. I think we already took his bullets. Now, there's actually a lot of cool modes on, on Resident Evil 2 DualShock version, but this isn't the DualShock version, sadly. I might have to try and track that down. But I do have an action replay for my PlayStation. I'm wondering if it's worth having a look at that when we finish this game. See if there's any cool little things that we can unlock. Alright, area's clear. And we did kind of go the long way around there, but... Eh. This ain't no speedrun, damn it. Now, if I remember correctly, this place is now... Infested. No? Okay. Here's me expecting some liquors, but alright, maybe that's maybe that's in the B scenario, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's break on through to the other side. Oh Claire Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Uh huh. Is, is that it? Well, it's a good thing you're here, young lady, because we're just about to get the fuck out of Dodge. <sighs> the sacrifice dies by the claw of the jaguar. Its blood forms a serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle glistens bathed in blood, and the gateway of doom will open. Oh, I miss those. That was the bloody serpent. Is that the serpent? Yeah, put the jaguar in. And the eagle. Lovely. What's this? A hidden passage? Oh. We might want to go get tooled up. Yeah. Yeah, let's go get some more weapons. Because where we're going, we need weapons. We're going to go fight our first friendo. Alright, let's go. Our first big boy. Now, I don't really want to waste all my handgun ammo on it either because, like, this handgun's pretty nifty. Hang on, let's look at that. The model for that is really weird. Like, the stock is huge. I'm trying to get a good look at the model. Yeah, you can... It's freaking... Is that... That isn't her arm. That's the actual stock. Is it? Yeah, it's like a fucking rifle. Okay. A cut-off rifle. How weird. Never noticed that before. Interesting. Also, there's been quite a cool new development with uh, PlayStation modding. There's something you can now get called the Psy. Um, is it called the Psy? Something like that. And it plugs into the parallel port, and it's like an EverDrive, but for PlayStation games. 
Which is quite cool. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, possibly for prosperity. Take that as well, just for good measure, yo. Yeah. Alright. Gee, I hope we don't run into anything scary. But I think most people know what's coming up. Let's go say hi to daddy. <laughs> Actually, that can mean multiple things where we're going. Hmm. <sighs> no coffee left. Unacceptable. All right. You all right there? Let's go. Sorry to just leave you hanging here, by the way. Is there like no ammo? I thought there was like ammo behind his desk. No. All right. So what do we have here? Mail to the chief. To Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions uh, of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Chris Redfield, uh, oh, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. Hmm. Interesting that it mentions Vickers there. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, the disposal of them in such a manner that would appear purely accidental. Yeah, how are you going to, like, accidentally dispose of all of them? Hmm. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. Ooh. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, I have deposited the amount of US $10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G virus scheduled to replace the T virus is near completion. Once, uh, once complete, I am certain that I will be appointed uh, to be a member of the executive board for Umbrella Inc. It's imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. We have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through Annette. With these precautions, any possible threats should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella, William Birkin. Mm. Yeah, I can't remember what the G virus stands for, but the T virus is um stands for the tyrant Where? virus. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for yeah. me, okay? We got some trash to take out. A couple of big bad Yeah, I can't remember what the G-Bar stands for now. I'll look it up. Ah! Oh dear. Me! <laughs> Hope you're hungry, boss. Dude. Yum yum. <laughs> I love the sound effects. Now, uh, yeah, the G virus uh, is quite distinctively different from the T virus. It creates uh, multiple eyes on its host creature. 
Um, hmm. Well, should we go see Mr. Iron's pleasure room? <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bioweapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sharon, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio-weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Ugh. My chest... I can't take the pain! Yeah. Sucks to be you, buddy. Lovely. It's a shame we can't take his magnum, though. Man, he got fucked. Okay. Ooh, hello. I see you. I see you winking at me. I see. So, some pleasure room he's got here. He's uh, obviously used it quite extensively. Looks like something out of uh, Saw or Hostel. Hmm. It's a saw. Fresh blood is smeared on the blade. Hmm. Wonder who he's had down here recently. And look at the human skulls and things behind him. Uh, behind Claire. Hmm. Formalin, chloroform, and other chemicals. Yeah. Yeah, the chief has obviously been murdering people as well. Like, before this all happened. Kind of interesting that no one's actually discovered this torture den. Hmm. Disturbing stuff. Indeed, Claire. Indeed. Alright, well, let's go see Mr. Iron's baby. Let's go down. Itchy it. Cheer. Now, this guy can be a bit of a dick. Lovely. They're <laughs> beautiful when they're so small. So cute. But alas, when they grow up, they don't retain that. Weakness. Hey, buddy. He looks like a giant cock monster. But that's fine. Let's give him some acid. Uh, Claire, let's, like, actually shoot him, please. There we go. There we go. Now, acid is what you want to use on this guy. Because it's really powerful, especially against living things, as our friend Barry would tell us. Get off. Wow. It's actually a lot easier to kill than I thought he was. Only took a few of those. Would have been even less. Ugh. Pulsating ghibli mess. 
get off me, you disgusting little shit stain. No, he just tread on the fucker anyway. Yeah, now he's gonna slowly melt into a pile of goo. I love the way the eyes are looking around, like panicking. Like the creature knows it's dying and like slowly dissolving into goo. Alright, I suppose you better go back and get Sherry. I actually think it tells us, like, you can't go ahead without going back for the sherry monster. Oh, we can go without sherry. Oh, that's curious. I'm sure eventually it's going to tell us we can't go any further. Anyway, here we are. We're in the sewers. I don't think there's much down here. Yeah, I don't think we can go through this. Yeah, I have to go back for sherry. Yeah. I thought so. Now this isn't a very nice place to be honest. But that's how the uh, G-Virus reproduces. Almost like something out of aliens really. The Xenomorphs. Gribbly. Alright Sherry. Mama's coming back. Yeah that guy really... That guy really is not that tough, to be honest. It's all about using the right tools for the job. Hey, Chief. Claire, you're so foolish. Like, just, just, Claire, grab, the, grab his magnum. Seriously. And I'm talking about the gun. Or the saw. Imagine that. Taking the saw around with you. That could be quite fun. So ominous down here as well. Look at it. Why would this even be down here in the first place? I wonder what its original purpose was before Mr. Irons turned it into a uh, pleasure room. Now, Alfred Ashford um, of Rockford Island uh, in Code Veronica had his own torture chamber as well, which was. He was quite disturbing as well. Claire, you came back. Hi. I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually yeah, your right. father. Spooky. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it mm -hmm. out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Yes. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us <sighs> later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait. I'm so sorry for Leon. Like, women just don't listen to him straight up. Well, I can relate. But, <sighs> poor Leon. I think he actually mentions that when you play as him. Why does nobody ever listen to me? Bless him. Now, as for promising to protect Sherry... Hmm. Claire, don't write checks. Your ass can't cash. Because I have a feeling that that's going to be a harder job than you think. Now, of course, anybody that has played Resident Evil 6... Ugh, I wish that game wasn't canon. But anyone that's played RE6 will know... Yeah, don't look at the man that's been viciously torn to shreds. Um, you know... It's just a stuffed toy. Yes, yes, that would do. Anyone that's played 6 will know that... Um, what happens to Sherry? Or indeed anyone that's uh, played this game. Apart from the 2% of the gaming population that hasn't played this game. In which case you should go play it. Stop watching this and go play it. Because this game is fantastic. Alright, time to get your feet wet. Let's go. Just watch out for floaters. Let's get out of here. Uh oh. 
Hey, Daddy. Claire? Shut up. Run. Shut up, you fools. Shouting your heads off, making noise. Honestly. Yeah, we just kind of like fell. It's fine. Now we have to take over as uh, Sherry, which, well, this bit is a little bit ass. We're on 41 minutes? Holy shit. When did that happen? Right, I'm going to have to end it here, guys. When we return, we're going to continue running around as Sherry. 41 minutes. Fuck. Okay. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. As always, until next time.